question. <gasps> Plus fun and games and some that is disgusting. That is interesting shocking moments. Say it as it is. Flip the script. Watch on BBC iPlayer. This is BBC World News, I'm Monica Plaha, our top stories. Anger and poor organisation Mars Nigeria's closest elections in recent memory as millions vote for a new president. The UK and the European Union appear to be on the brink of finalising a new deal on post-Brexit trading rules covering Northern Ireland and the Republic. I think the talks on reforming the protocol are uh, inching towards a conclusion. Um, certainly the deal isn't done yet. Turkish officials investigate more than 600 people over substandard buildings that collapsed during this month's earthquakes. International aid agencies continue to focus on helping survivors. Some of these guys have been flying over a thousand hours since the earthquake struck. They say they will continue to keep going as long as aid is needed. China fails to condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine, causing tensions at a meeting of the G20 major economies. And over 2,000 people take part in Copenhagen's annual light run as the city celebrates being designated this year's UNESCO World Capital of Architecture. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Votes are being counted in Nigeria's most competitive presidential election in decades. The process has been largely peaceful, but there were some reports of violence in Lagos earlier. The contest is a tight race between three front runners, as Mayeni Jones reports. Frustration and anger. Many Nigerians want to take part in this election, but have been 